<laughs> we just made these super simple, tiny little tabletop stars, and we'll show you how we did it right now. All right, well, they're not tiny. They turned out pretty gigantic. And we'll show you how we did that right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? A great, uh, that's what we do on this channel every week. This week, we're making giant holiday stars. We're just gonna make these giant wooden holiday stars and then put all kinds of accents in them. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, some lights. It'll look very festive. Mm -hmm. And by giant, he means I wanted an average star and his had to be bigger. So now his is giant. Mine's giant. I don't know what you're doing with that. Hers is medium. His is gonna sit on the floor. Mine will be tabletop. <laughs> Mine might be a table. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> we have no idea what it's gonna turn out like. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our stuff. I picked up two one by threes for my star and two half by threes for Kim's star. And then we got a bunch of stuff. Like I'm gonna put a little truck in mine, some balls, some pine cones, some tiny trees. <laughs> this other pine cone thing, it's fake. And a ball. A ball. Oh, and some LED lights, some LED lights. Mine's just gonna be a little more classic looking. It's gonna, just gonna have these holiday balls and some lights, some LED lights, and some star garland. What else have I got there? I think that's it. I think that's it. Step two, we're gonna make all of our cuts. These cuts are actually pretty simple. Don't let them intimidate you. It's actually just two cuts that you need to make. An 18 degree cut, it's really pointy, and a 54 degree cut. It's pretty easy. First, we're gonna take a scrap piece of two by four and we're gonna cut it at a 45 degree angle and now that 45 degree angle will be our new zero and we're gonna count out 18 degrees from 45 5, 10, 15, 1, 2, 3 so we should be at about 27 we're gonna lock it down we're gonna make 10 cuts of the 1 by 3 And then we'll make those same 10 cuts using the same jig for the half by three. And right, we got all of our 18 degree cuts made. Now we're just going to set up a little stop block and cut all 10 pieces the same length using a 36 degree cut which when we flip it over will be the 54 and we're going to cut all of the one by threes and we're going to cut all of the half by threes all of our pieces are cut see the the tight little 18 degree and then we got that laid back 54 on the other side that's it Two cuts, 10 pieces. Step three. Now we're gonna glue all of our little teepees together. Well, we're gonna glue our star together, but we're gonna start with these little teepees. We're gonna glue all these little points together first. And then we'll fit it all together. All of our little TPs seem to be dry. We gave them like 20 minutes. I'm not gonna be too rough with them. It says 24 hours to set up. Now we're just gonna glue all of our star pieces together. This is where we find out if we made all of our cuts correctly. Push them together pretty tight and then give it 20 minutes. 
I'll push them together. We're gonna give this 20 minutes to set up. I'm just gonna pin these together with a staple. This star turned out to be a lot bigger than we planned. Our math was a little bit off. Well... It was supposed to go on this backer. Yeah. Yeah, our backer's a little small. Doesn't go all the way to the ends. <laughs> I thought... So we started with 12 inch boards. They're 11 now after we cut them. I would say you probably need a nine inch. Yeah, Make maybe. them eight when you're done, something like that. Cause this is a little larger than desks, than table size as well. Oh, I'll lift that up and we'll trace it. Yeah. So we might have to rethink our design here. <laughs> you might, I don't like I we... just thought these would fill it up, but that's not gonna happen. <laughs> well, we'll, we'll a little bigger than we thought. We'll... I can't even imagine how large Garrett's is going to be. <laughs> I cut mine at 12. I think yours are 18. Yeah, mine are like 18. <laughs> mine's going to be a big jam. Like you have to clear the table here. Step aside. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to trust the glue since I'm not putting a backer on mine. It's much, it's much heavier. So I'm going to come in with this little one inch bread. The nail, not the guy. <laughs> Got the star all cut out. Now I'm just gonna glue it to the back. So do you want to stain it first? Yes. Correction. We're gonna stain it before we glue it to the back. All right, our stain's just about dry, so we're gonna attach a little star cutout to the little frame. It's a little star, just a little star. We're gonna glue it and then tack it with some staples. Right, that's what we got so far. Looks awesome. Mine's still drying. Let's uh, let's get some of that glue. Step five, and now we have the accents. <laughs> a lot of hot glue. A lot of hot glue. Well, like I said, I thought it was going to be much smaller, so. I hope we have enough accents to fill it. Because <laughs> I really thought it was going to be... In my head, it was like this big. I don't know. This is about how big I was thinking. Really? Go big or go home, baby.
good. All right, that's what we got. <laughs> I guess you didn't glue that one in. <laughs> Maybe I never put that. Oh no, it doesn't have any glue on it. Okay, let's put some glue on it. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> See if anything falls out. Uh, we got a bunch of strings. Look at that! That looks so great. You can't really see the lights with all the light. You can't see the lights behind there now. Yeah. But they're there. All right. Let's do mine. All right. My star is all dry. My star is a little bit bigger than I thought it would be. And since Kim stole my decorations for her star, which was bigger than she thought it would be, I don't have nearly enough balls to fill this thing. I probably need another uh, five or six of those. So I'm going to try some LED lights instead. Mine is all done. Let's see yours, babe. Oops. Let's see your tiny little star. It's not. It's far from it's tiny. It's so small. <laughs> look at her tiny little thing. Oh, <laughs> look at that cute little thing. <laughs> Look, babe, we're big stars. <laughs> All right, well, we made big stars. Yes, much bigger than we, well, much bigger than some of us had planned. I envisioned that mine would be about this big, not this big. <laughs> I misunderstood, I miscalculated the size of my star. I thought mine was gonna be that big, not this big. So I also miscalculated. <laughs> But I want to give a big shout out to Chris and Colin over on Sawdust and Wood on their YouTube channel. I watched their video like 10 times before we attempted this video. And ours turned out great. Mm -hmm. So they gave great instructions, nice and slow, and tell you how to use your miter saw the right way. He's a professional over there. You should go check it out. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us if you'd make your stars bigger. <laughs> Or maybe something smaller than Kim's. <laughs> leave us a comment. What would you put inside your star? Would you just leave it? They look good just plain. Hit that like button if you like this video. And remember to hit that subscribe button and tick that bell because we do this every week. And until next week, we'll put a video here and here that you could probably check out. You'll enjoy. You'll like them. And we'll see you guys next week.